नमस्कार वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सेशन ऑन वेरिएबल एट्रीब्यूट ऑफ पी एल एस क्वेल लेट एस स्टार्ट दिस सेशन देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ वेरिएबल एट्रीब्यूट वन इज परसेंटेज टाइप एंड सेकेंड इज परसेंटेज रो टाइप In order to understand its importance, let us move to Oracle Life. In previous video session, we have written this PLSQL block to retrieve the value of two columns, name and job, for employee number one, and store these values in two variables n and j. These variables are declared in declare section, and its data type and size is same as it is defined during the creation of tables. and then we displayed its value let us execute this code again to see its output so you can see that the output is statement processed welcome to pli square name is ram which is displayed due to this dbms output put line and job is professor you can clearly see that the job is professor for name ram so we have achieved our objective now let's store this plsql code in another text file so i am storing this plsql code in this text file now let's suppose database administrator issue alter table statement to change the size of name to character 50 let us execute this statement you can see table altered now dba has altered the size of this name column the programmer has already written this plsql code and executed this code successfully now let's again copy this code and execute in this plsql window the same code which was able to execute successfully earlier is not able to execute now and it has raised an error message numeric or value error Character string buffer too small. You can understand that this error has raised because now name has been changed to character fifty. But in our code, we are storing the value of name in variable n, and n is of character thirty size, or which we have set accordingly before executing alter statement by the DBA. Now DBA has issued this alter statement. after issuing this alter statement programmer will be in confusion because the code was successfully executed yesterday but now it is not executing this is a very general problem and can occur multiple times because at any moment we can modify the size and data type of columns and if we are going to fix our data type and size in this manner we will be in trouble so the solution is variable attributes so instead of fixing the data type and size of n as character 30 we will dynamically assign the data type and size of variable n and variable j since n is mapped to column name so its data type and size should be similar to the data type and size of column name in order to do this we will use percentage type attribute how we will do that we will use emp which is the name of table dot prefixed by the name of column to which it maps then percentage type so by using this we are ensuring that the data type and size of n variable should be assigned dynamically and it should be same as the data type and size of name column of employee table it is important to note that there is no space between this emp is the name of table dot then we have a name of column to which it mapped then percentage type in the same way instead of declaring j as character 20 it is better to declare j as emp dot because j is mapped to job column percentage type so here we have declared two variables n and j by using variable attribute percentage type let us execute this code again 
and now you can see that the problem has been solved because n and j has been assigned its value dynamically and even if you further change the size of name to 60 there will be no problem i am issue another alter statement you can see table altered after this again execute this plsql block you can see still my program is in running state or executed successfully so this is very important and interesting that always declare the data type and size of the column dynamically instead of fixing it because always we can modify the data type and size of the columns so this is all about percentage type implementation to read more on this you can refer my book simplified approach to dbms which is available on amazon you can also refer an ebook plsql for beginner a simplified approach which is available at kindle platform you are requested to subscribe to this channel to receive latest videos on sql plsql machine learning and data mining thanks for watching this video